Three-year-old fillies approaching the gate. We welcome Miss New Jersey for 2003 in the winner's circle, Jennifer Farrell, who will make the presenta presentation here for the fifth race as the gate is rolling. It's post time for the fifth race, the $200,000 SBOA Miss New Jersey final three-year-old filly pacers lining up ready for a start. Here they come for the Miss New Jersey. And they're off. Going Report is gunning out. Going Report, an economic club from the far outside. Earhart Hanover flashes speed towards the inside. Gets into the early mix there. And under a snug hold, female champs is hot early. She moves up on the inside fourth. Around the first turn, Glowing Report. Economic cloud up on the outside. And Lachance has the pedal down there. Earhart Hanover is third, heading to the quarter. Female champs is fourth. The BJ Sunset is fifth. It's Gina Spur sixth on the inside. Summer Mystery is seventh and uh, edging out. Apple Crisp is eighth at this point. That it's our burning desire and life's image at the back. Hot quarter 26 and 4 for Glowing Report. Brennan taps the brakes and here comes Earhart Hanover and Dave Miller at 9 to 5. Earhart Hanover clears the top, takes the lead away from Glowing Report down the back stretch. Gunning now is Female Champs. Female Champs up quickly and boldly. BJ Sunset tracking her with Pierce now fourth on the outside. Economic Cloud is back to fifth. And it's Gina Spur sixth on the outside and clogging at this point. Then it's our burning desire buried towards the rail. Summer Mystery caught behind the clogger than its life's image and at the back is apple crisp 54 three for the half and they're dueling on the far turn here it's female champs with a head in front fighting back air hard hanover their strides are synchronized in the duels they hit for three quarters glowing report is locked in the box bj sunset sitting second over off the dueling leaders economic cloud in traffic in fifth there as they race by three quarters and now here comes our burning desire gearing up off the speed duel in heavy traffic economic cloud three quarters 123 and 2, and they're into the stretch here. And they are swarming in on Ear Hard Hanover after the quick fractions take their toll. Perfect trip for BJ Sunset. Pierce has open road. Up the rail, Life's Image looking for an upset. On the outside, our burning desire. On the extreme outside, Apple Crisp is trying to make it up, but it's Yannick Jingra with the drive of his life here. Life's Image and Life's Image upsets over Glowing Report and Apple Crisp. Yannick Jingra takes the Miss New Jersey in 152. It's official, the 1A Life's Image. Life Sign does it again. Last year's sure sign here, Life's Image, three-year-old Bay Philly. By Life Sign, out of reflection by No Nukes. Owned and bred by the Brittany Farms. For sales, Kentucky, trained by Bruce Regal. And the winning driver, Yannick Jingra. The time, 152, a new lifetime mark for Life's Image. Unraced at two, just her fourth lifetime start, her second lifetime win. And the biggest win of Yannick Jingra's young career at the age of 24, his first full season here at the Meadowlands. And he certainly makes an impact here at 33 to 1, 152 with life's image. And it's official in the winner's circle, making our fifth race presentation Tony Parenti, Miss New Jersey 2003, Jennifer Farrell, Tom Daltrui, and Edward Rossetti. Eddie Rossetti and Bob Baggett and Dennis Lane. Welcome to the Meadowlands. Miss New Jersey, Jennifer Farrell, a Rutgers University student majoring in Spanish and education who hopes to be a high school Spanish teacher. And she reached the top 15 in the Miss America 2004 pageant from Margate, New Jersey. In just a few moments, we will get Winner's Circle reaction here with Bob Hollywood Hayden standing by in the Winner's Circle. In the meantime, 1A, Life's Image, pays 6920, 2060, and 820. Number six, Glowing Report, $5 and $4. The seven, Apple Crisp. $5 to show. A 1-6 exacta, $370.80. 1-6-7 trifecta, $3,047.20. Remaining prices momentarily when they cycle up again. The sixth race is coming up. Exacta trifecta super payoffs momentarily.
The Superfecto was one six seven eight five thousand ten dollars forty cents. The pick three. You never drove this filly before. What'd you know about it before the race? Not much really. The, uh, they called me this week to see if I was available to drive her this week if I had not anything in the race. You know, it worked out good. They, they told me it was like she's a little funny to steer. Sometimes she runs in, she runs out. No, not much. Not, no, not really. Nothing that they told me really. Expectations going in, making her fourth start from post position nine in a tough field. Making it, I, I was looking for fifth. You know, I was looking for a check. You know, it worked out really, really good. You know, I followed the pile on the whole mile, never quit the rail, and uh, it opened wide open in front of me. So, couldn't have a better trip than that. Good pace going up front there. A lot of action. That glowing report took the lead. Earhart Hanover. The pace was quick. Yeah, that did, that didn't hurt. You know, like far back, I didn't, we didn't have too much of a hold of the horses. You know, like uh, I was pretty much all out, just keeping up behind them. But worked out good. Six months ago, you were just starting here at the Meadowlands. Uh, what's it feel like to be in the winner's circle for the Miss New Jersey? I feel good. You know, like days are hard over here. You know, you don't win as many races as where I, I Yonkers. I was winning a lot more, more races than here. You know, sometimes it, it's harder a little bit, but I'm young and I'm learning every day, you know, you, and with them guys, you learn real fast, you know, so that's, that's feel pretty good. You have a, a drive coming up. Times are changing in Jersey Classic. What about him? He's a pretty good horse, you know. Yeah, there's three good horse with me in the race. Uh, with him, the same thing, you know, we're hopefully uh, having a good trip. If we're going to have a, as good as a trip we had in here, we'll be, uh, we'll be all set for the night. Okay, yeah, and congratulations. We're waiting for the picture over here so Bruce Regal can join us and Myron Bell. Bruce, want to come on over and uh, Bruce Regal in her fourth career start. You told me this week you'd be happy if she just raced and finished well. 